Hi guys, I really, really missed you and I hope all of you are doing well. I hope you had a great holiday. Mine was very nice. I, I was very happy with my kids. I'm blessed. I cannot complain. And I hope the same for you guys. So, um, I'm getting ready to do the love reading for my gemmies, my twins for January 2017. And I want to say to all of you, thank you for your comments and your love and all of you guys that have allowed me to do a personal reading for you. I really, really appreciate it and always will. Okay. And I'll leave the link to my website and all of your videos. So if you're interested in the reading, you could just click there and it'll take you to my website. So gemmies, what's going on for January 2017? Can you believe it? 2017 exactly that's how fast time flies okay let's begin with you guys so moving into the new year okay for you guys that are single they're telling me to start with for you guys that are single if this person hasn't entered in the end of December going into January there is someone here that's gonna come into your life okay offering you or wanting to be in a relationship with you okay offering love offering their cup of emotions okay whether you accept it or not that's up to you but that's the first card so for you guys that are single not attached there is energy here of new love coming into your life could be of any sign this particular um, energy here is of a water sign person so it could be a cancer scorpio or pisces so keep your eye out open for someone of that sign that could be approaching and it's the first card so it's very nice for you guys for you guys that are single and not seeing anyone you have the promise of someone coming into your life okay could be through work okay or they're saying it could be you could meet them through someone that knows you like one of those kind of hookup things okay the next card that i have for you jemmies is the eight of pentacles in reverse okay and I know that Pentacles have to do with earthly things like material things money and things of that nature but I'm picking up here with the eight of Pentacles in reverse that's some of you guys that are in a relationship here possibly with the earth the earth sign Virgo Capricorn or Taurus you're feeling either tired or feeling an energy here i'm feeling an energy here of i've been in this relationship for eight months eight years a long-term relationship with this person and you feel like i don't know if you feel like eggshells or someone here feels eggshells because i heard eggshells but you're not feeling either safe or someone here's not feeling safe or you feel like either you don't want to work at it no more or you're just tired of the stagnation this is what i'm what i'm hearing here okay someone here feels tired someone here feels like they're putting an energy into a situation that clearly is not changing okay stagnant hence stagnant okay maybe you and your partner this earth sign person or whatever it it, it, it concerns you guys whatever sign you have it's it's like you and this person are like just there this is what I'm saying. It's like just there. I'm sorry to say it, Gemini. So I don't know what's going on with you guys with this relationship. It's like a relationship that you and this person are there. Okay? And clearly, there's work that needs to be done in this relationship. Okay? Whether it's eight months, eight years, it doesn't matter. Relationships take work. Okay? It can't just be like, uh, you know, just to, like on a parking lot. Just park your car and leave it there. Okay? You have to make sure that you work at the relationship. Not only you, you, the, you and your partner, whoever this is. Okay? But Spirit is saying, especially for you, because I feel like you've been patient with this situation. Okay? It's not, I just feel like you've been patient with this situation. Okay? And Spirit is also saying that, make sure that you do your part. Okay, you do your part of the equation of the relationship, the part that you can control. Okay, and then see what happens when regards to this relationship. Because I'm picking up an energy from you, like you're just tired and you're just like, I'm Gemini and I know how I can get. Okay, sometimes we could be, you know, we'll dump somebody so quick the person doesn't even see it coming. You're not doing that, but I just feel like here with the cards that I'm seeing here. This particular relationship, either you've been having some sort of issues in it, some sort of turbulence, because the card that you have next to it is the tower card in reverse, okay? If you guys are single, by the way, just saying, 
for you guys going back to the eight of pentacles for you guys that are single even though you have that card of someone coming into your life okay they're also saying for you guys not to just sit home and feel like you know this person is just gonna come and knock on your door and your prince charming and your prince woman is just gonna come okay you have to do your part too if you're interested in being in a relationship and having that person come it's not just magically gonna happen okay i don't know if that could be pertaining to me but anyway back to the tarot card here of the tower card in reverse some of you have been having some sort of issues when it comes to a particular relationship because you have the tower card here okay i gotta do the ac because i'm getting I'm hot i don't know why i'm getting hot but the tower card is in reverse and this is an indication of some sort of um concerns you have some sort of concerns with the relationship or a relationship you have here with someone okay some concerns but they're saying here make sure that you communicate with your partner there needs to be communication because i feel like some of you you're just not saying anything you're just there okay but they're saying you need to communicate communication is very important and, and also think positive okay and don't try to not saying that you're doing this but whoever is doing this whether it's you or your partner spirit is saying just make sure that you work on yourself do your part for the relationship don't try to change your partner because the truth is if you're trying to change your partner or wanting your partner to change that's not how it's going to work and the next thing you know you're wasting more time and obviously that's just doesn't make sense gemini okay and i know for me we're when we're gemini's and, and we're in a relationship where we care we stay with your ass excuse my french and we give you plenty of chances which to the other person they don't see it that way we'll stay and stay and stay but guess what honey when we're done speaking for myself when i'm done with someone it's like they don't exist and it's like the relationship we had it never happened to me okay so i know how we could be so basically do your part in this relationship put in the energy and see what happens the spirit was saying okay because i feel like an energy for some of you like you're tired and you feel like what else is there in this relationship it's that type of energy think positive you know focus on the good things okay improve the things you could improve for yourself okay and and just make sure you consider how you're contributing to the relationship where you're feeling like it's just either stagnant or bored or it's just not doing anything anymore okay just do your part improve your part and then moving forward into the new year see how it goes just take it one step at a time and don't lose your cool see they're saying that for a reason because they know we can get crazy and the next thing you know we'll dump somebody and you won't see it coming see look there's something that you're not saying to your partner that's why i love tarot there's something here that you're not conveying. Someone's not conveying to the other person because the person is the swords in their reverse. And there's something that you have been, that you've seen, that you don't like, that you don't understand, that you've been eyeing and watching for a long time. And your ass ain't saying nothing. I do that too. Because I just do it and I put all the arson and I pull all my weapons when necessary. But there's something here that you're upset about. Okay, and before the tower card gets us this crazy, that's why they're saying, keep your cool, Gemini. Talk to your partner, whether you're bored, the sex is whack, you know, you, you know, because I know I get bored fast. Stop being so nice, staying quiet, because we're verbal people, but we're weird, you know what I'm saying? When we need to re-verbalize, a lot of the times, sometimes I don't verbalize, and I just try to chill, because we're chill like that. We don't like to create drama, but there's sometimes where you need to, because you, we take a lot of crap and take it in, and the next thing you know, we blow up. And sometimes that blowing up means we're dumping your ass, and you don't even see it coming. But anyway, keep your cool and stay positive for you guys that are in this particular relationship, okay? The next card that you have here in closing, Gemini, is the King of Cups in reverse. So, like I said, you have two energies here for you guys that are single. Wanting to meet somebody, you have another person here. So some of you could be meeting a younger person, some of you an older person. So I just feel like an energy that some of you guys are saying, oh, I want a younger person, I want to be with a younger person. Some of you want to be with an older person. It doesn't matter, right? Love is love. But this person that's going to come into your life, okay? You Make sure that you keep an eye on this person. They're not bad or anything. But being that they're in reverse, I just feel an energy of, have, of this person has some sort of baggage emotionally. Maybe they've been hurt. Maybe this person is older and you know they have past history of, of going through crap. Okay, but this particular person here could be a sounding force for you. Okay, they could be stable. But at the same time, they're going to have things that could have things that you don't like. Like 
either emotional manipulation or just use emotions to try to make, make you feel a certain way he came in in reverse but like i said it doesn't necessarily have to be like that because like i said you have two energies of people coming into your life and they're both water sign people okay so it's different for us because we're air sign so just give it a chance take it slow for you guys that are single okay some of you are going to be a younger person. Some of you are an older person, whatever it is your interest. For you guys that are in this relationship, if you're in a relationship with this earth sign person or whatever sign it is, just try to be a little bit patient. I feel like for the coming year, you'll know what steps you need to take. There's no energy here of breakups, but there's energies here of slight tension. And before you blow off your handle, Gemini, like I know we can, communicate, convey to your partner, do your part. So if you do need to pull the trigger... In 2017, you can easily say, like I did in my relationship, I did my part, gave my all, so don't be surprised when I haul ass. Bye-bye. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.